Hi, now I will continue with another uh, criteria, good market depth. Okay, so you must make sure that uh, the sales must not be dominated by a few seller. Uh, because if let's say all is actually uh, dominated by those uh, very well-known or big, uh, big brand, then uh, you will not get any slice, any slice of the overall sales. Okay, because you must make sure that uh, if let's say you are not doing so well, uh, you at least can uh, earn some of the profit. Okay, so let's say if let's say uh, the question to ask if you end up in the middle of the first page, is it okay? Okay, so this you actually need to do a research. I will show you the slide. Okay, let's say for baby diaper bag, um, you can see that. From this page, the first number one, the top seller, earning 353k per month. Okay. So the bottom here is actually earning 21k per month. But uh, this is the considered the lowest. Then uh, the middle position selling is about average 10k to 140k. You can see from here. So meaning that if let's say you are just doing average you are still can earn around maybe between 10k to 140k per month. So this should be quite okay. Okay, uh, then this product you actually can, can choose to sell in Amazon. Uh, you wouldn't want that uh, you, you go to a page then you saw like example the first one earning 353k then below all is earning about 1k, 2k, 3k or this. You, you wouldn't want to do this product because uh, this product uh, is, is not really a good product and it may not sell also. So uh, they are not, they, I, I just want to be very frankly, they don't have, uh, Amazon actually don't have any, uh, like, uh, any fast way. Okay, so you, you actually need to do a research step by step to get the winning product. So this, uh, I, I want, to, want you all to uh, remember, okay? Then followed by the next criteria. Okay, before that, the four criteria that I mentioned uh, in the first uh, part, actually this is very important. You must try to meet those criteria. If let's say you didn't meet all those four criteria, uh, you can do that product also, just that uh, you need to be very cautious. Uh, so now I will go to uh, the fifth criteria. So role review. Okay, as you can see uh, from the first, first page, you, you, you see the uh, column for the review. So the average review should be less than 200. Okay, the, I would say the lowest the review count, the better it is. Because if let's say like if more than 200, it's still will be okay if let's say uh, maybe some of the uh, listing, uh, some of the seller have more than a high review count, okay? Because you wouldn't want to have a product uh, that have uh, maybe few hundred or thousands review. I mean, this actually, this product is very competitive. A lot of people actually uh, buying it and, and you need to compete with those people. So you, you get very hard time to to, to sell and copy this because uh, meaning this product is uh, quite, I mean, it's been there for, for a long time. It's already uh, well established, okay? So I will show you an example. So when you do a product search, you will see this part, average review. So if let's say 914 mean that many people know about this uh, product and, and they are buying already. So no point to do this product, okay? If let's say you saw a product they have this average review below 130 mean that this product is still new in, in the market. So you, you have the chance to, to actually sell this product, okay? So then followed by price range. Uh, you must actually make sure, <coughs> sorry. So the product price range should be ideally 15 to 50, okay? Why I say so? So if let's say below 50, eh, sorry, below 15, uh, the profit margin is too low. So, so you, you won't earn much. Maybe you have half time to cover your uh, cost, maybe your tax also. 
So, but you cannot be more than 50 because uh, more than 50 people will start to think more and people will compare and, and to, in order to buy this product. So we will call this is impulse buy price range. So this will be the price range that you need to search and need to decide. Okay. So average price, I will show you this one. So like this average price is below uh, 50, but above 15 is good to sell. So uh, I will say that uh, you all choose the product that is in this range. Okay. So then I will follow by another thing. Uh, another criteria will be seasonal 